Good morning. It is Sunday morning, February the 26th, and we'll begin here in just a moment. If you've already subscribed to the channel, thank you. If you have not subscribed, please click the subscribe button. If you like my videos, give me a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know what it is you like and what you don't. Leave suggestions for other content you'd like to see me to create. Give me feedback on what I could have done differently or better with this video today. All of these things will help me to grow. And I'm grateful for all your support and everything you do to help my channel to grow. Let's get right to our reading. Good morning. Grab your coffee and tea and let us begin. This morning, our mental focus is the Knight of Pentacles. And he is cautious and thorough and he takes his time. He's the slowest knight in the deck. But he will get the job done. He is reliable and he is stable. And our overall energy is the carriage, which signifies uh, we're going to take a journey. And we're either going to do it physically or mentally. And if it's mentally, we're going to have a different, uh, we're going to see things differently when we get to the end of it. Um, the next three cards are all wands, uh, which is the fire element. It's about determination and courage and creativity and movement. Um, and so we also have a lot of uh, court energy on the table today, too. So... Um, yeah, our room for improvement is the Knight of Wands. And the Knight of Wands, he's passionate, he's confident, he's full of life, he's a bit of a show-off, and he'll tell you to just jump right in and do it, to don't be sitting around thinking too much about it. And then our strength is the Queen of Wands. And she is caring and sincere, and she draws people to her. And she can accomplish anything that she sets her mind to. And if there's a situation where someone needs to speak up, she will speak up. Um, our outcome is the Seven of Wands. And this is difficulty and conflict, usually. Uh, but as you can see in the card, he's going to stand his ground confidently and victoriously. And um, you're probably going to have a lot to do. And the most important thing is to believe in yourself. Like he believes in himself that he's going to come out victorious. So that's what I'm seeing overall is that we have... A lot of this fire energy, a lot of this ambition and courage, strength, intuition, it's a primal energy, uh, deals with creativity and artistic endeavors. And so whatever this journey is that we're going to go on, we're going to um, come out seeing things differently in the end. And... I think what's most important is that we um, we are confident and we are determined and we do believe in ourselves. Um, and I think it's also important that we do see things um, as they are and um, and in a new perspective. So that's what I'm going to say today is about. It's about perspective and believing in yourself and getting the job done, whatever that is. Maybe you need the momentum of the fire energy, but to get the job done and, you know, just, just jump in and do it. Get it done uh, with your new perspective and your belief in yourself. 